Philippians. We need an outpouring. My God, we need a time of uh, uh, rain upon our prayer life until we are shaking the gates of hell and opening the windows of heaven until we're seeing the captives set free until we're seeing people once again calling upon the name of the Lord looking to the church in America for an answer because our answer is not going to come from the White House. It's going to have to come from God's house. And it will never make it to God's house. And it cannot change our house. And so from the privacy of our bedrooms, we must enter the throne room until the river of the Holy Ghost washes over our soul and brings the renewal. And we cannot contain it and reach it out under those that are around us. We need an outpouring out jacking the attention of America and let them know the God of Abraham, the blessing of Abraham, is still alive upon the Lord of Christ in America.
Amen. He just can't come back there anymore. And when I pastored that lane there, when I first moved there, I mean, every time I opened that door, I said, just uh, go to step out of that door, there's dogs everywhere. I guess they thought the other preachers still lived there. I don't know. <laughs> I made life uncomfortable for them. I won't tell you what I did. I just made life uncomfortable for them. I did things that were legal for me to do on my own reservation. Okay? And they got to where I step out that door. <clears throat> and even if they was a block and a half away and they heard my door move, they was nervous and moving away. <laughs> And I'm saying that devil will show up in your spirit-filled prayer meetings, spirit-filled Bible studies, spirit-filled camp meetings, uh, Sunday morning church service. See, this is why some of our churches are dead. It's because there's no move of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Uh -huh. It's why there's people that will not come because there's no real move of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. They're wandering. They're looking. Amen. As far as I know, it hasn't changed. He said that he's no respecter of persons. Uh -huh. If we'll seek the Lord, yeah. if we'll break up that foul ground, amen, let him come in righteousness and reign upon us, mm -hmm. people will begin to show up. Come on. He'll draw them. Jesus said, and I, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. amen. We, we won't have to... Uh, Beg them in. Amen. We won't have to beg and plead and, and push, pull, and drag. Amen. We just get together and let that river flow. Let that anointing move. And people will begin to hear about it. Those that are there will go. They'll tell somebody else. Sheep will reproduce sheep. Amen. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Shepherds are called to feed the flock. And so if we'll feed them. Amen. Study the word of God. So that they're not withering. Study the Word of God. You know, this book is full of, of things that deal, number one, with salvation. Secondly, that deal with the importance of being filled with the Holy Ghost. Next, uh, that deal with uh, godly stewardship principles. Uh, next, that deal with uh, uh, being accountable. Amen. Under somebody. Amen. And when we find ourselves where all we ever teach or preach is salvation... It might be God ordained for us to be placed under another minister. Mm -hmm. That our ministry can complement theirs. Come on now, there's a lot of subjects in this book. And the body needs to grow up. 